Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So welcome back to the CHD um, community hub um, where we talk about all things hair, skin, makeup, beauty, uh, fitness, lifestyle. And basically what I wanted to do today was kind of run you through a new video. If you haven't seen the title yet, then the title of this video is going to be Skincare Goals for 2018. Um, so basically like last year I had a really kind of up and down experience with skincare. Um, I had a couple of times where my eczema really flared up and it was really not ideal. It was just something that was, um, it was honestly like so difficult to manage. And I felt like, oh, you know, I'm 26 now. I know exactly what I'm doing. Like I know exactly how to like, take care of my skin. And it's like, no, you can always be surprised as to what, how your body can respond to certain products that you try, how it can, um, how it can be when you go out into the cold weather or how it can be when you do things like you go swimming or you do certain activities and how your skin will react. So basically what I wanted to do is um, take you through some of the skincare products that I've tried previously in 2017 and kind of talk you through some of the products I'm, I'm planning to use into 2018. So let's just jump into that and I will explain more. So this one here is called Orlatum and it's basically a like a deep conditioner for the skin. It's something that though would recommend that you use if you're like an eczema sufferer but to be honest I reckon anyone could really use this anyone could really use this every now and then when their skin is really dry and especially in the winter like if you have everyone's skin in the winter suffers because at the end of the day that cold icy air you know hitting against your skin when you're, as you're walking down the street and as you're doing certain things it does struggle to retain the moisture that it usually would have and so i would say like this is like one of my favorite things from last year that i've used um it's basically something you basically put a couple drops of it in the bath and it acts kind of like an emollient and um you, so you drop a couple of drops in and it, then it, then the whole the water in the bath gets kind of like misty and then like milky looking but it's misty like kind of just like drops misty <laughs> And then um, basically it just kind of conditions the skin, it repairs anything that, like if you have been itching all day, it will soothe it, it kind of like softens the skin, it makes it feel uh, more moisturised and honestly it's like the best thing, I don't even know how to really describe it, it's just really really good and even on the bottom it says here for dry skin and suitable for daily use and it says to, it helps to soften and hydrate, it helps to nourish and protect helps um, provide relief from dryness. So if you have really dry skin, I think even if you don't have eczema, you should try this out just once and just see if it helps to make a difference with your skin, especially during the winter season. This is one of my favorite skincare products of this year. So one of my next favorite products is this one. It's called, um, this one here is called Sanex. It's basically a, um, it's like a, a bath wash or a shower. You can use it in bath or shower. Um, it's basically like a wash and it's, um, what's really great about it is that it's hypoallergenic. It is um, for really, it says here for very sensitive skin. Um, it's soap and colorant free. And it's just great. It's a really, really great um, body wash. I feel like there's a lot of body washes out there and they're really, they're lovely, you know, like the, they're pink and yellow and they smell like sweets and all this kind of thing. But at the end of the day, it's like you want something that's gonna benefit your skin. And I would say out of all of the, all of the washes that I've ever used, Sanix is the only one that will literally wash your skin and not dry it out at the same time. Like they have so many different types as well. They've got like a hypoallergenic one, they've got like a 0% one, which means it's, there's 0% fragrance, 0% um, like irritants. It's also approved by a dermatologist, so that's like a really good sign. If there's anything that's approved by a dermatologist, that means they probably know what they're doing. But in general, the product's really, really great. It retains moisture really, really well. Like I said, I've got sensitive skin, I've got, but I've also got dry skin. So a hyperallergenic product would be amazing because at the end of the day, it won't actually irritate your skin at all. But this is one of the best washes I've ever used. Next product is this one. So this is the E45 wash. Um, it's very, very similar actually to the oil lacing, but I would actually like to spoil myself and use both products. I kind of use this with the oil latum because the oil latum is um, really, really good when it comes to um, deep conditioning the skin that's making it feel softer. And I like this wash because you can technically wash your skin. And if, for example, you've, you've got open cuts and wounds and stuff, you can use this anywhere and it won't sting. Um, 
so it's a really really great product it's basically the same it acts as an emollient but i like to use both um it acts as an emollient so what uh, so as the skin's barrier um sometimes with eczema is damaged so the barrier is so dry that it kind of kind of peels off and the skin you know starts to shed and you it, it irritates the skin surface and then obviously it's open to run it's you know vulnerable it's open open to infections and all kinds of things so you need a protective barrier to um, cover that back up with and basically the e45 acts as an ammonia is 100% soap free non-drying non-foaming so it's completely there's nothing irritated irritable about it at all um, it's just nice it's just really nice put it in so you put your ammonia in the bath your um your oleatum in the bath that will really soak up the skin give it a nice deep condition and then you use this in certain areas where it's really dry but you apply this by your hands so you just, use the pump here and just apply it to certain areas that are particularly dry and this will soak in really nicely and just help fix that skin so that is something that I'd also go for. So this is the Cocoa Butter from Palmer's, this is really really popular, I'm sure everyone kind of knows about it already but it's such a nice, a nice, nice, nice skincare product. It, um, what I like about this one, again, hyperallergenic, this is the fragrance free version. So this one's not going to irritate your skin. If you have sensitive, dry or eczema prone skin, like myself, this is not something that's going to irritate you. Even if you don't have uh, dry skin, eczema prone or sensitive skin, this is something that is good, helpful, non-harmful and easy to use. It's not going to be anything that you need to avoid this or this area. It's not going to give you any problems. It's just one of those products. It's simple, simplistic and it's good for your skin compared to some of the other products that I've got. Fragrances and mineral oils, all kinds of things that you shouldn't really be in the skin. Um, so this one here, this is uh, so fragrance free, hyperallergenic and it's good for sensitive skin. It's amazing, it's got a really nice thick consistency so it's really really good as a, as a winter moisturiser in particular and um, it's just nice, it's really really nice, really really thick, like I said again once again fragrance free, hyperallergenic and it's good for sensitive skin and it does its usual thing, it soothes marks and, and tones skin so um, it has a kind of thing where if you have any scars over time gently it will reduce the scarring or the marks that you may have. So it's a really, really good product. I really recommend this one. And I didn't even know that they had one um, for like a sensitive skin version. Because I know before I used to really love it, but I stopped using it because it had the fragrance in it, the cocoa butter kind of fragrance in it. And it would really sting. But now that they've got the fragrance free one, I will 100% use this again. So the next um, product that I, the next product that I really, really love is this one here. It's called Pseudo Cream. I'm sure like all the mothers out there kind of know what this is. They probably recognize it as the baby butt cream. It's the kind of cream you use if your, if your baby's got a rash, um, nappy rash, something like that. And it does do things like that. So it's really good for nappy rash, eczema, surface wounds, sunburn, minor burns, acne, bed sores, and children's. Children's. I don't know how you pronounce that, <laughs> but um, yeah, it does say on the front eczema. It's really good for eczema. And what I really like about this product, I know some people will be like, no, I don't like that. It's not really that great. Um, at the end of the day, what I like about it is that it is really good when it comes to the redness and open cuts that you would get from scratching. So with eczema, you just can't help it. It gets so dry and irritable that you just want to itch. And then you itch it, and the more that you itch it, it gets red, obviously, from being irritated, and it gets um, cut open sometimes, because your nails are sharp, and then they cut, and then you've got open cuts, basically. And this is by far the best product to use if you have, um, Red, if you if it once you've been itching real hard, you've been going in with the itching, like you need to just get something like this. Um, it's basically if you check, let me see if I can it smells really nice too, antiseptic y. If you look in there, it's like all white, um, it's really really thick consistency. Some people, it obviously, it's one of those creams you can't wear it out, you have to use it's a basic, it's a nighttime cream, it's not something that you can where that like, it's not something that you can just pl plop on and go outside because it doesn't it doesn't soak in very well it's not supposed to it's an antiseptic um like a protective barrier sort of cream and um but it's really good it's really really good it has it really masks the redness when by the time it has soaked in it does no it no longer looks red and irritated it just kind of looks kind of like white and kind of um 
it doesn't look attractive but by all means it's better than having red irritated and dry and fleshy skin so by all means this is great and then with the wounds as well like I said it's an antiseptic healing cream so any cuts and wounds that are there that will speed up the recovery time for those cuts and wounds so honestly really really great product not many people would probably um, talk about it in relation to eczema but this is a really really great product and in general it's just a product that probably everyone should have because there's times where you do get a cut or a scar or, or a bruise every now and then and it's kind of like actually probably need to put some of it on that this is the one in terms of makeup, I don't really do, um, I do wear like a full face of makeup because I love to experiment with makeup, hair, um, fashion as you do. So um, with makeup I, I have to use something that's gentle, like I cannot use just anything on my face because it will not work out for me. I'm a sensitive skin, dry sensitive skin type and therefore um, if I just use anything, it, the, the results can be disastrous trust me and I've got eczema prone skin at two so to be honest I really have to look into the kind of things that I'm using on my skin so when I wear makeup obviously you have to use um, something to remove the makeup at night so my favorite product by far for removing makeup of so my favorite product of 2017 has been this one and this one will definitely be coming into 2018 with me this is this one here is this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. It is by far the best remover that I have used in this year. I've used a lot, I've tried so many, but this one is just so simplistic. Um, at first, I was into the habit of kind of using wipes and you can actually now get these in a micellar, form uh, micellar wipe format. So you can get them in the wipe version now and you can just kind of wipe them off. Um, however, I'm pretty happy using this one to be honest. I quite like it, I quite like that you can kind of um, uh, measure how much you want to put onto your cotton pad and, and put and apply it as as needed because obviously at some stages you don't need so much water I like to put a little bit when I'm moving the eye makeup to put a tad not too much because I don't want any to get in my eyes um, it's really great it moves everything foundation eye makeup um, everything lip anything on your lip anything around the eyes anything that would be kind of you know like hard to take off like the eyebrows I often find they're really difficult to take they spread like they'll spread everywhere if you don't take it off correctly and um, around the eyes it's really really good and what I like about it the most is that it's dermatologically tested it's good for sensitive skin and um, I think it's fragrance free too it is actually yeah it's fragrance free as well so it's fragrance free it's good for sensitive skin it's dermatologically tested as well and um, honestly, I've had no problems with it at all. I'd definitely be buying another bottle of this. It's quite expensive, can be, um, but I always look for a good deal. So I usually, if you find this size, the five, the 400 millilitres, um, for about, about four quid, that's pretty good. Um, it can range up to about 6 99 something like that, I think. But honestly, this is my favourite skin remover, skin makeup, um, skin remover, makeup remover. 100% recommend this. This is great. So the next thing, so in terms of um, something to put on my face, like a moisturiser, I can use my regular eczema creams. However, this product is really, really good. So this is the, um, so this one I really, really like it. This is the MAC Mineralize Charged Water Face and Body Lotion. Um, it's really, really dewy. That's what I like the most about it. It's just very dewy. Um, I haven't had any problems with it thus far. And... Um, it's just nice, it's really really nice. One of my friends at work recommended it um, to me and um, once I had tried it I was like yeah this is the one. So it's really really dewy. Um, I'm gonna try it on my hands here and you kind of moisturize it in like this and honestly it's just really really nice. It takes a while to rub in, it really is really really nice and dewy. Um, I haven't had any problem. It does have a slight fragrance to it, but nothing that's overtly gonna bother you, bother your skin. It's really, really nice, really, really dewy, and it makes such a difference even after the first use. So this is something that I'll definitely be using um, into 2018, 100, and just lovely. And it also makes your skin look uh, more moisturised and more dewy, and mm, nice, love that. So also the next product, um, the max fix plus um sure a lot of people know about this already it's um just really really great it is actually some people actually um say that it is a setting spray but it's actually not a setting spray 
it's something that we it's basically a hydration mist it's just something that you would use to hydrate your skin whilst you are wearing makeup when you wear like powders and you wear like foundations um they can be drying but obviously when you are wearing makeup it would be great if you could retain moisture whilst you're wearing it and therefore when you take makeup off later on it's not all dry and crispy and flaking and if you can re restore the moisture then that's great and this is something that you can use to hydrate your skin whilst you're wearing makeup so if you are an stuff like me i'm sure you'll be familiar with the next two kinds of products i wanted to kind of bring these into the mix because at the end of the day they are products that you know a lot of people have a lot of products with so this one here is from boots and this one here i just got from the regular chemist and basically i just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about these um, these are very very strong but they do work when you have really really bad eczema sometimes you just have to use it basically like steroid creams that will clear up the skin condition the eczema clear the area up um, rather quickly and obviously there's certain times that, it, that you need this because it gets so bad at times that there's nothing there's no moisturizer out there that could help it needs to be at that stage cleared up with a steroid cream like these and then when it, if your skin gets really really bad which it has been at times for me then i recommend something like this to you which is the um i don't even know how to you can never like, i've mastered hydrocortisone now but this one better methasone better methasone <laughs> so those this is a one percent this is a stronger version of the steroid cream and this is when your skin gets really, really bad. And like I said, I don't know if you've seen, if anyone's seen my Instagram post um, on my Instagram page, which is at Curly Hair Discoveries. If you check that out, you'll see a couple posts that I posted earlier this year of a big, big breakup that I had from, but I think both an allergic reaction and eczema. And it honestly just inflamed my whole skin. It was, oh, it was terrible. It was rashy, it was red, it was dry, it was flaking. It was doing the most. It was really, really horrible. Um, I like this, but this is definitely something that they would recommend as well. And I just kind of wanted to say, like, be really careful how you apply this, guys. And um, I completely understand your pain. So if you have any comments or anything you want to say about these kind of creams, please write below because I also have eczema and I don't really get to meet many people that have the same. Or if you want to tell me about your stories or you want to tell me about what kind of things work for you, please do write in the description below because I would love to hear about how you guys manage your eczema if you have it. So much for watching. If you want to see anything else in relation to hair, skin, beauty, makeup, um, fitness, lifestyle um, or wellness videos, please let me know because I would love to make something great for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.